Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of the Netflix Adventures, your favorite Netflix review show. Let's hope. Hey, I don't know, two episodes, It's uh, we're doing pretty well. Uh, only two weeks in between or so, we're uh, popping these out at a fast rate. But let's get to the show. I watched The Mindy Project, and to be honest, I don't know why this show has like plus four stars and it's Everyone likes it and yada, 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 because I could not get through a... No, I could, but I had to force myself to get through even a single episode. And by about halfway through the second, I gave up. I gave up. I'm going to finish watching and maybe watch the third, like I planned to do, watch the first three. But it was the second time I tried to watch this show to review it for you guys. So if... My opinion changes in a couple episodes. I will tell you. I'll make another video. But so far, it's really not changing because this show is so bad. Um, I guess it's called The Mindy Project because it's about, well, this girl being a super big project. She's incredibly high maintenance. She has so many issues. She thinks incredibly highly of herself. She's a... Apparently a neonatal doctor or some... She's a gynecologist or something at a hospital or a private practice. I don't even know. They don't explain it. She has a, dro she has a job, but she's just drunk and she's... I don't know. Hooks up with a lot of guys. They don't really explain what's going on except for this really weird monologue backstory bit about how a guy she liked ended up getting married and then she got drunk and fell into a pool. I know how confusing that sounds and how little sense I'm making. And that's about how much sense the show made. So I don't even want to go into it very much. I feel like there's a chance for some characters. There's actors that I like on this show. Um, they brought in, I think it was Stu from The Hangover. He was a an extra on the first episode. And I like him. I kind of wish he stayed. But to be honest, he was her date, and she's a terrible date. So I'm glad he didn't have to be put through that because, like, there's just once apparently an issue gets solved, and she says, "Yeah, I'm better than this. I'm gonna move forward in my life," and blah 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 that she claims. At the end of the first episode, after you know self improvement and doing all this stuff. She immediately goes right back to sleeping with X random guy who works at the hospital who's just the lecherous guy. So she claims to be very self-improving, yet hasn't done that whatsoever. So, so the Rotten Tomatoes gives the mini project a 78%, an average rating of 76 Audience, 92% of the audience like this show. So IMDb gave The Mindy Project a 7.4 out of 16,942 reviews. So I still don't see it. It's supposed to be a comedy, but it's just unpleasant so far to me. I wish it wasn't, because if this show is supposed to be that good, why isn't it? We'll see. I might make an, another one of these little episodes. And now Netflix. On Netflix, it has five stars. That is five. One, two, three, four, five. Five stars. That is the total number of five out of five stars. Maybe I'm just not grasping the comedy. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it gets a lot better. I don't know. Maybe I really don't like the girl who plays the main actor. And so the Netflix review, believe it or not, is a 5 out of 5. 5. This many. 5 out of 5. For me, I give the show a 2 out of 5. And that, see that 5 that Netflix gave it? I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take that one. And you have two. 2 out of 5. 2. Oh, that's not good. Personal review, 2 out of 5. Ah, uh, It's cut for me. I'm going to watch till the end of the third episode. And if it's redeemed itself, I'll get back to you guys. But for now, see ya.